Welcome. Today in today I learned semantics. Semantics is a Flutter widget that annotates the widget tree with a description. It's used by accessibility tools, search engines, and other analysis software to determine the meaning of the application. But my guess for you is that screen readers like VoiceOver on iOS and TalkBack on Android are the biggest use case to use semantics in your app. So let's go for a demo. Here we have a very, very small app. It has a scaffold, app bar, in the scaffold, a center and a column, which holds an image and a text. You can see it right here in the emulator. I already have TalkBack enabled because this is an Android device. So if I tap, single tap, something on this emulator, the screen reader will announce it. Let's try it out with uh, the app bar. Mr. Anderson demo heading. There you go. So let's say we have an image like we do right here. This is an image, the, the company logo image, right? So if someone is using the screen reader, what will they hear? Let's find out. Unlabeled image. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? An unlabeled image. How can we resolve this? So the screen reader would say something meaningful so we can wrap this image with semantics right. let's try it out unlabeled image nothing yet that's because we need to set a label this label is a string and let's say the company logo let's try this again the company logo image that's right it said the company logo and then image because it already has the context of the image this is nice and already helpful because i could set mr anderson logo but because the app name is called mr anderson demo maybe it's implicit um so now this is a small introduction to the semantics uh, widget. There are a lot and a lot of stuff to be found here. You can find them out yourself. Let's do one more. I already prepped one up. And that's this text view, or text, which says, click me. Let's find out what the screen wheel will say about this. Click me. That's right, only click me, that's right. But what if, we wrap this up with a gesture detector and make this more like a button, right? We need to provide a untap. Just keep it empty for now, that's okay. Hot reload. And let's hear. Click me. Double tap to activate. Okay, that's something already. Double tap to activate. That's very cool. But it's not very clear that it's a button, right? Maybe. It doesn't seem like a button right now, but you could style it and make it feel like a button, even though it's just a text. By all means, use a button widget if it is really a button, but there are some cases. So here you can wrap it again in, in the semantics widget. And here you can say, but is true. Let's reload and let's hear. Click me button. Double tap to activate. Click me button. Double tap to activate. This is exactly what we want. And that concludes the demo for now. Have a look at the other attributes and see you guys in the next video.